If you're a fan of Windows Phone 8 and you're on the nation's third largest wireless carrier, up until very recently, you've been out of luck. But now, Sprint has two Windows Phone 8 devices you can choose from. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com, and one of those devices is the Samsung Ativas Neo. How does this thing compete to the HTC One, to the Galaxy S4, and to the iPhone 5, three of Sprint's best sellers? Let's find out in the full video review. The Samsung ATVS Neo is the second Windows Phone 8 device to be available on Sprint, bringing Microsoft's platform to the nation's third largest wireless carrier. Sprint's been strangely absent with the Windows Phone devices since the HTC arrived, so it's really nice to see some OEMs and some Sprint partners get in there together and get on this bandwagon, or I should say Sprint and the OEM partners. I said that backwards. My apologies. But the ATVS Neo is the second Windows Phone 8 device to be available on the Now Network, and it's priced at $149. 99 with a two-year agreement. Now, specs-wise, we're looking at a 1.4 gigahertz dual-core Snapdragon 400 CPU, a 4.8-inch 720p HD display here, an 8-megapixel camera on the back with 1080p HD recording. You got Windows Phone 8, a 2,000 milliamp hour removable battery in this device, 4G LTE connectivity, all weighing in at about 5 ounces, 5.08 ounces if I recall and again on the Sprint Now network. So it brings design language of Samsung over to the Windows Phone 8 platform, very reminiscent of the Ativ S that we saw internationally, but this sucker is available on Sprint, branded as Sprint with 4G LTE. Actually, it's not even branded as Sprint. There's no Sprint logo on this device, but you do have 4G LTE connectivity on the Ativ S Neo. Before we dive too far into this, I wanna give special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like the Ativ S Neo for use in our One Paw Bandit giveaway game. When you go into Best Buy Mobile to get the Ativ S Neo or anything on Sprint or any of the other carriers for that matter, you'll walk out working. They'll help you get your email, contacts, your internet, your battery life settings, everything set up to where when you walk out the door, you're good to go. Thank to Best Buy Mobile. They give us free phones that we turn around and give to you on the site at PhoneDog.com. But continuing along with the specs here, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, one gigabyte of RAM, and I'm gonna pull this off just ever so quickly so you can see the back. And there is the micro SD card slot, so you can pop in one of those, a micro SIM card slot as well, and then a nice 4.8 inch HD display over here. So from a display standpoint, this is one of the largest Windows Phone devices available right now. It brings over again Samsung's design language and a 4.8 inch display that's 720p, bigger than the, the Nokia Lumia 1020, the 920, the 925, the 928, all of those at around 4.5 inches. 4.8 is right up there with the Galaxy S3. Now, this thing is packing Windows Phone 8 as you would expect, and out of the box you get a combination of Microsoft applications and of Samsung applications, including a couple of different ones here that I've installed. Some come out of the box. A TV Beam comes out of the box, which we'll talk about a little bit later. You have DataSense as well, no longer exclusive to Verizon. Of course, the Xbox stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, Xbox games, help and tips, live wallpaper, you've got mini diary, music and videos, Samsung's Now application, of course the office integration as well. You've got Samsung Link, you've got Scout, and then you've got Sprint TV and Movies, Sprint Music Plus, and then Visual Voicemail, Wallet, and then a couple of other ones that I've installed. Video Trimmer does come out of the box as well. But really quickly taking a look at the hardware here, you can see that this design language is very similar to other things we've seen from Samsung, the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy S4, the Note 2, power button on the right side, camera shortcut button on the right side as well. On the left spine, you've got your volume rocker over here, bottom, micro USB charging port, top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and of course, your camera on the back with your speaker right here. Samsung logo, Windows phone logo, and a chrome edge that runs around the bottom here to give it a nice look and feel. So it's a blue color as well, and this thing really looks good. It's got a nice look and feel to it, and even though it's got a bigger 4.8 inch display, the travel's relatively decent on this device. You can see moving across the device pretty easy, and you've got buttons down here at the bottom back, and then your Bing search button, and a physical home button. So very different from capacitive buttons we've seen from HTC and from Nokia. These are physical, or at least this one's a physical button over here on the device itself. Front-facing camera up here as well. So just really quickly, I'm gonna talk briefly about Windows Phone 8, but what I wanna highlight in this review series are the differences between this device as a Samsung device or a Samsung Windows Phone 8 device versus the HTC 8XT and the Lumia series of devices. So we'll dive right in here and take a look. So you can see the home screen right here with all the live tiles operating and their full functionality. We'll swipe down through here, and you can see that these are customizable. If you watched any Windows Phone 8 video, you know how this works. I can customize most of these in three different sizes, small, extra large, 
and then just large. So you've got a couple of different sizes here and obviously you get more information on the screen as you customize them. For example, you can see my text messaging one here and you know if you've watched any Windows Phone video with me, you know how much it's annoyed me up until Windows Phone 8 that you couldn't see the text message text. For example, like we're seeing right here in Windows Phone 8, you could see five messages, but you couldn't customize the size in Windows Phone 7. For example, this one was kind of the smaller square size, whereas calendar, was always the larger size. So you had all these kind of customization issues where it's like, well, why can't I customize where I can see my phone contacts or perhaps my you know, messaging or my email? We well, can do that now in Windows Phone 8 and move these all around. And obviously the smaller you get, the less information you get on the screen. For example, here looks a lot like what it looked like in Windows Phone 7, or I can make it even smaller and just see my five with my little face. It's like, oh my goodness. If you take a close up look at that face. But then when you maximize it out here, you can see that I have text messages, for example, from Stephanie Hammersmith, and she's very deeply concerned about this project, whatever the case may be that's going on with this project. I'm just kidding, I actually sent these to myself. So Stephanie Hammersmith is a fake person. There's no project that's running behind deadline. I know you guys were worried. Don't worry, I got all these projects handled that I'm working on. But people here as well, likewise with this, the larger you get, the more information you can have on the screen and the more people you can have running simultaneously in the people live tile. So really customizable here. Again, the approach is much better even than Windows Phone 7. And from a customization standpoint, it's better in a lot of ways than even Android and iOS. So you can see Samsung's Now application running right here. And I'll take this time now to jump right into some of the Samsung goodies that make this device, and this is kind of the name of the game recently with Android and with Windows Phone. It's very similar across the board in a lot of different ways. So these OEMs are looking to distinguish themselves. HTC is no exception, Samsung's no exception. And so you get some value added stuff in all of their devices that you may not get with like a stock, not that there's a stock Windows Phone 8 device, but stock Android, for example, or you'll get different options on a Samsung ATVS Neo than you would on the HTC 8XT, for example. So that said, we'll take a look at some of the goodies that you get out of the box. The first one is Samsung's Now application, very similar to the HTC application you see on the 8XT with the ability to customize your weather, your news, your stocks, and then you have this handy little currency thing. And as much as I travel internationally, this is actually pretty useful, where I can swipe right over here to currency and say, you know what, 20 American dollars equals not a lot of European, or of euros. $14, and or 14 euro 97 conversion rate, not too great by any stretch of the imagination. I had to get that phrase in there. But you can see here, that's there. And then of course, the live tile updates. So right now it's 93 degrees in Dallas. Actually a pretty cool day in Dallas today, all things considered. And then you've got, of course, some other tiles that I've added. And you've got, the, these are obviously live tiles. For example, going back to what I said a second ago, this one, because it's the longer rectangular tile, I'm seeing my most recent email here in my haironbaker at gmail.com account. And then of course I can see my total number. So right here, flipping up and down with my Twitter profile. This is another Samsung thing, it's called App Folder. And what I can do is come in here into App Folder. You can download this from the Windows Phone Store. I can come in here and create a new folder and we'll say, you know what, we'll say video video, and we'll add some applications. We'll say Facebook, American Airlines, Manga Camera, Photo Editor, and all those are gonna be in the folder called video. So I can move this folder around. Again, I can make it smaller or larger if I want to, but this is a folder that when I click on it, it's gonna open up and allow me access to any of those four applications just like that, just by clicking on it. So very similar to Android's folders, at least in the kind of functionality that they're going for, very similar. And you saw that I had one on the screen prior to showing you that productivity, just for example here. I have a TV Beam mini diary, and now in there as well. So that's some of the Samsung goodies. In part two, we'll pick up our discussion about the goodies that come out of the box from a software standpoint, from a hardware standpoint, and then we'll wrap out with some speed tests and camera settings and camera features as well. Stay tuned for part two.